Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Monica and in this video I wanted to talk about me being 2,000 days sober. It's an interesting milestone and what triggered this video and hopefully I may be able to give you some help for being sober over the holidays because it can be a very tumultuous time. There can be a lot of triggering elements throughout the holidays. So I am going to be very mindful that it is the holidays and I'm going to try not to have any triggering topics in this video because that's not the point of this video. But I was looking at my phone and my calendar and I have a countdown widget and it tells me how long I have been alcohol free for and that's roughly I think it is 5.5 or 5.47 years sober. It was a good number. And I thought that was enough to make a video for my YouTube channel. I did see two days ago a quote on Twitter, and I will read it for you from a user at the username is Fault Norzars. I cannot pronounce it, I apologize. But a reminder that not every addict school is to be 100% sober, and that living with addiction can also look like reaching a manageable level of usage and relapse happen turkey can cause reactionary relapses and always support addicts not just clean ones so that was a very good quote it definitely resonated with me and i wanted to kind of share some of my thoughts on it as well and definitely sharing experiences can definitely help remove the stigma around people that do have and suffer from addiction my relationship with alcohol is very different than most people because i don't have an addictive personality like that so I don't have so me stopping cold turkey for me was extremely easy because I don't have an addiction it's just something that I wanted to make changes to improve myself and I do believe there is extreme difference between people that drink recreationally and people that have addiction problems to me they're very 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 different and I'm very mindful of people that do have extreme addiction but the some of what I shaped me stopping drinking I feel can also help a lot of other trans people that are also trying to further their transition maybe allies having a better understanding as well I know in this process even me that I do not have a addiction problem that is like that is like the very basis of this even me deciding that I wanted to change my life and give myself some different goals. I lost a lot of people just because they did not respect that I wanted to drink or that I did not want to drink. And when I would still go out and socialize with them and I was the only person in the room not drinking, that was uncomfortable for a lot of people. And that's not my problem. That is not my problem. So I just kind of move on with my life. I also think that it's really important to be realistic. Of your goals and it does not happen overnight as like the quote said that relapses do happen and that is very common amongst people that do drink having people on your corner that don't drink i think is really good and having replacement hobbies as things can definitely make your life a lot easier as well so for me gaming watching movies binging on netflix watching 10 season series of Lost or whatever, not Lost, but like long-term shows was a great distraction. The money that I saved, not drinking, not partying, definitely helped finance a lot of my transgender related surgeries. Within six months of me stopping my alcohol, I had my name legally changed a second time. So if you've been following my YouTube channel for the last two years, you probably know that I've had my name legally changed more than once. I had a new passport with my new legal name. My gender designation has already been updated. But I was able to finance a lot more aspects of my transition. Within six months of me not drinking, I was also able to have an orchiectomy. And it's weird because it didn't correlate, but... It gave me a lot more time when I wasn't thinking about partying that I was able to start drinking or what that I was able to start investing in other elements of my life. I didn't have to deal with hangovers. I still get really 
had migraines, which is unfortunate because my migraines, sometimes I wish I had a hangover because I know it would go away. But I do know as a trans person drinking, there can be a lot of risks increased with taking estrogen, hormone replacement therapy, and alcohol. So it's like, hey, that eliminates it. Your life improves. My life improved and almost like it noticeably and visibly improved almost instantly. My skin improved because no, but no, realistically, like your quality of my life improved. And that was like a short term and a long term goal. It was like the amount that you can accomplish is like really important to me. And then also giving myself long term goals is reasons to stay alcohol free because someone staying sober and someone staying alcohol free to me. I was able to give myself a lot more different goals. I was able to go to Thailand as a result, and I may not have been able to make that happen if I was drinking or going to a bar. And that's kind of what started off my YouTube channel was me talking about the surgeries that I've had. And if I was drinking, I may not have been able to realistically finance surgeries in general. Definitely improve the quality of life of like relationships that I've had with friends and people. I was able to start making YouTube content and definitely increase the cash flow in other areas of my life as well. This is not really like the most, like hopefully there's something that you can take from this video that is positive. But I do want to say thank you for supporting me. Hopefully people are able to stay sober and mindful of yourself during the holidays and don't beat yourself up because not everybody has the same definition of what like 100% sober is. But I do want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Happy holidays and I will see you back hopefully before the New Year's. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for your love and support, and until next time, bye for now.